just kind of when I get ideas, I kind of put them on paper and then see if they I can make them come to reality because some of them are involve motors and stuff like that and you know like this past year I started in February uh, or this year I should say I started in February and making some paper mache stuff and that took a long time and then trying to make other stuff while I was doing that but yeah that's what I put those over in the uh, corn field. This is probably my third year of doing it at this location. I used to do it several years ago, not to this extreme, but uh, my wife kind of talked me into doing it again, so I started back up and went a little crazy. So. They've all kind of gotten into it now that I've gotten into it, so I mean obviously when you're doing it starting in February, you kind of get uh, exposed to it quite a bit and you're just like what are you making now and stuff some of the you know the mask obviously i buy them and put them make the mannequins to put them on and uh but most of the props are handmade so uh, i'd say there's probably anywhere from 50 to 100 go by a night and a lot of them get out with their kids and you know, walk you know because they're young and they, i try not to make it like real gory and scary just something to have fun with you know some of it's a little scary for a four-year-old but for the most part it's you know fun for a little bit of everybody's